السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to my channel I am Dr. مصطفى عبد العظيم Professor of Pediatrics and Neonatology Banha University of Egypt Today we will discuss the Abgar score in this video We will review what is the Abgar score When to do the Abgar score What is the component of the Abgar score And how to interpret it Abgar score What are the limitations of the Abgar score And we will do a case scenario how to calculate the Abgar score. Abgar score is a method to assess the status of the newborn immediately after birth and the response to resuscitation if it is needed. When to do it, typically we do Abgar score at the first and the five minutes after birth. However, if the Abgar score calculation is still less than seven, we will uh, repeat the Abgar score every five minutes until reaching seven or 20 minutes. What this means, if we have Abgar score at five minutes, five, we should repeat at 10 minutes. If reach seven, well and good, خلاص, I will stop. If not reaching still six, I will repeat at 15 minutes and so on till, until reaching seven or 20 minutes. What is the component of the Abgar score? Dr. Victoria Abgar suggested five, five components of the Abgar score, color, heart rate, reflex irritability, muscle tone, and respiration. 10 years later, another American doctor suggested to use the Abgar word to remember the Abgar score components. So A for the appearance, which is the color, uh, B is the pulse for the heart rate, G is the grimace, which is the reflex irritability, A for activity, which is reflecting the muscle tone, and the R is the respiration. Each component is given a, a score of 0, 1, or 2. How to do it? If we started by the color or the appearance, if the baby is totally blue or pale, uh, he will take 0. We have acrocyanosis or preferred cyanosis, so the baby will take 1. If the baby is totally pink, he will, be, uh, uh, he will take 2. For the heart rate or the pulse, if the baby has a stool, no heart rate, he will take 0. If the heart rate more than uh, less than 100, so the baby will take one. If the heart rate more than 100, so the heart rate is K and the baby will take two. For grimace, and this grimace is done by inserting a small suction caster in the node of the baby and checking the response of the baby. If we have no response at all, the baby will take zero. If just grimace or uh, facial expression only, he will take one. If the baby is sneezing, crying, he will take two. For the muscle tone or the activity, if the baby has severe hypotonia, flat, uh, this is take, he will take zero. If there is some flexion, he will take one. If there is good flexion and resistance to extension, even he will take two. Respiration, if the baby is apneic at all, will take zero if the baby has irregular or gasping breathing will take one if we have good crying or regular breathing this, the baby will take two as you see the total score range from zero to ten with increasing the score this means it's good so score seven to ten is normal score four to six is moderate abnormal and score zero to three is considered low Abgar score and resuscitation, take care. Resuscitation must be initiated before the first minute Abgar score assigned. The Abgar score is not used to determine the need for the initial resuscitation, what resuscitation steps are necessary, or when to use them. Also, uh, uh, is Abgar score is good tool for uh, outcome prediction? Actually, the Abgar score does not predict the neonatal mortality or neurological outcome on individual basis for each patient. And also, Abgar score alone cannot be considered to be evidence or consequence of asphyxia alone. We should have another clinical manifestation in the baby, history, uh, antenatal, like fetal heart stress, uh, abnormal blood gas. This may help in the occurrence of asphyxia or uh, encephalopathy, but Abgar score alone does not 
or cannot be uh, considered as evidence of asphyxia. Upgar score has limitation because it may affect it by thumb factors present in the baby or the mother like maternal sedation, maternal anesthesia, presence of congenital malformation in the baby, gestational age and trauma. Typically with the lower gestational age, the Upgar score tend to have lower uh, result or lower reading. Also, we have many elements in the Upgar score uh, is subjective, like uh, reflex irritability, uh, color, and the tone. This is depend on the operator or the uh, interpreter. Let us talk about case scenario. Uh, we have an infant in the first minute of life with the heart rate is 120 beat per minute. He is crying, has good muscle tone, sneezing when we put the catheter in his nose. However, the infant has uh, preferred cyanosis. What is the Upgar score of this baby? How to calculate? Remember to write up gar. So A for the appearance or the color. We say the baby has peripheral cyanosis. So he will take yes one. Plus P is the pulse. We said that the baby has 100 feet per minute. This means more than 100. He will take two. Plus Grimace after stimulation with the nasal catheter has a sneezing, which is good. We'll take yes, two plus activity. The baby has good muscle tone, which is two, and the respiration. The baby is crying, so you will take also two. So, if we calculate it, will be nine at 12 minutes, and we should repeat at uh, five minutes. Thank you very much for listening my video. If you have any questions, please uh, leave in the comments. If you like this video, please share it.